in pursuit of the American dream this week. For our series, we are focusing on entrepreneurs, innovators, business leaders, and those who are helping to make businesses and business hopefuls successful. But today, we're starting with an aspiring entrepreneur who had an idea to change the way that you and I get shade at the beach. He had an idea, he acted upon it, and is getting ready to officially launch his product soon. Please welcome to the show, Kurt Laffey. He is the inventor of Sand Badger. Thanks so much, good to see you. You too. So this is really the epitome of the American dream. It's like so many people have ideas, but it's to act upon those ideas, to actually see it through to fruition, and then to be able to say, hey, I did that. So so you have the product. Talk to us about what Sand Badger is and how you came up with the idea. Yeah, so uh, my kids and I love the beach, and my 13-year-old daughter, Isabella, my 11-year-old son, Logan, we go to the beach all the time, and we like to bring beach umbrellas, but they're a pain in the neck to put in. And once they're in the sand, after that 20-minute effort of putting them in, they don't stay in. A gust of wind comes and they blow away. Actually, people can be injured by flying umbrellas. So one day, uh, last summer, I was sitting at the beach, and I said, there's got to be something better than this. And, and I like to solve problems. And so I came up with this idea to create a product that not only is easy to put in, it had to do two things. It had to be easy to put in, and it had to stay in the sand when the wind is blowing at its best. And the sand badger is something that I came up with, prototyped it, uh, brought my kids to the beach. They were involved in the process. They loved it and um, did a series of prototypes. And then we came up with a final 3D printed ver uh, version. You had Forge 3D pr um, on your show before. Mm -hmm. And so now we have the final version. I've talked to, to injection mold companies and we're getting ready to produce. So we're watching a video now. I'm assuming this is your son who poured the water into this funnel and you say with your product, now the umbrella can stay without falling, without worrying about the wind knocking it over. Uh, so, okay. How did you take this idea that was in your head and create the physical product that's sitting in front of us right now? That's a great question. It was an iterative process. I went to Lowe's. I literally bought some PVC pipes, some nozzles, um, uh, funnels, etc. It wasn't just the first one worked, right? The first one did work, but it didn't stay in the sand. It would blow away. The umbrella would come out, so I had to had to put in device like a, the screw to hold the umbrella in. I had to put on a wing, a wings on it so it wouldn't twist around in the sand. This is all trial and error. All trial and okay. error, yeah. And then finally you say, okay, I've got something, this thing that's like got duct tape around it and I'm sure <laughs> like it's, it's a hot mess. You take this and do what with it? So I took that, I went to Forge 3D, uh, their, uh, Adam, their, their, I guess their CAD guy, he mocked up some ideas of what it would look like. We, we printed out some early versions, again, a process. It wasn't the final version we came out with first. And we, I tested them at the beach. Again, Isabella and Logan in hand, testing them at the beach, made sure they worked and we came up with the final version wow. through that So you process. have a 3D printed version. You yep. have an electric file now, electronic file, that you can now send to somebody. You said you've been to China. You're trying to, pr uh, to produce this domestically to try to get large numbers and large quantities of these things, right? So right. that's where you are. Right. Okay, so what happens after this? You're going to get, what, 2,000 of these things in and do what with them? So, yeah, we're going to market this digitally initially. We have some connections at some of the home shopping networks, but, but that'll be more for springtime, obviously. Um, but really, it's just going to be word of mouth initially. Uh, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, bringing them to the beaches of Florida, up and down the coast, and selling them direct as well as digitally. And you say you did a lot of market research before you ever started putting together 3D printed models of Sand Badger. You said you went out to the beach with your kids, and we're asking people, what do you think about this idea if someone should create this? Yeah, obviously you don't want to just create something and spend the time and energy if it's not going to work, if it's not going to be, if there's not going to be a market for it. I I've spoken with at least 300 people, um, beachgoers and people at the beach, and to a person, they all said this is a game changer. And, you know, to me, it's already a commercial success. Uh, the, re the reason why I say that is because one night after testing, multiple iterations of testing, tucking my kids into bed, say, said the prayers, uh, saying prayers, and then Logan looks up at me and says, Daddy, 
you're a genius. <laughs> and <laughs> that makes it all that, worth that it. That made it all there. worthwhile. So whether it sells one or a hundred thousand, uh, it, it, it was a success to me. And talking to you in the commercial break, you can tell that you have the entrepreneurial spirit. Like you're a problem solver. You see something that needs to be created, you go and do it, and hence where the sand badger came from. How does it feel for you? to be able to see this now through execution? Because I know there's so many people out there that have so many great ideas, but don't necessarily know where to start or how to get to the point of actually physically sh selling their product. Uh, well, if you're a parent, which I know you are, um, the only thing I can equate it to is having a child and seeing them graduate different grades and, and achieve different levels of, of my, my daughter's a cheerleader, my son's in Taekwondo, and, and everything they do, it, it, it has the same feeling. This literally has the same feeling. Well, congratulations. Thanks for joining Thanks. us. Sandbadger.com. I know you have a little bit of an incentive for people that go there and sign up. We're out of time, but very yep. quickly, one more thing you wanted to say. Yes, yeah, so, and we're going to donate proceeds of everyone we sell to Saving Sea Turtles because we love sea turtles. My kids and I love sea turtles. So and that was go, part of your passion, you said, for is, designing this. It is. Go online, reach. sign up uh, before it's launched. So Good to see you. Thanks, Kurt. We appreciate you. And again, sandbadger.com. You can head to the website for more information. And Frisco's Living will be right back.